So, you want to know how to play a good horror game. Now, I hear all this, this stuff about there being a little thing called Resident Evil 7 that's recently released. But, uh, I, I don't have 60 bucks to play it to record something. So let me... Look at this. This is how you do an options menu. Look at that. Perfect. Where'd my mouse cursor go? Hello? Oh, it's, this is a feature. Ah. Uh, you can't... You can't change the volume of the game. That's because they really want you to be scared. Now... See, here's the thing, right? There's a Resident Evil 7 came out, you know. Oh, it's spooky. It's Resident Evil. They're going back to their horror roots. But let me tell you. There's actually been a game. Just waiting for this exact moment to make to shine. Now, the game's been out for a while, and, uh, you know, that's fine. It's a little known game. That's okay. But that's why I'm here to showcase it to you. See, now this is how you build an atmosphere. What am I seeing? Oh, see, I. The, the fear of not knowing is the scariest thing of all, and I didn't know what was just happening, so... Gee, I'm pretty spooked. So, uh, in case you don't know about this game, it, uh... It adapts to your fear. You know. As in... It's just a scary game. You know. Because it assumes you always need to be scared more. See, uh, and what's nice is they give you this tiny little objective marker in the top left, so that way you know what to do. See, I gotta find out what happened. And, uh, to be honest with you, I'm quaking in my boots as we speak. This is pretty gosh darn spooky. Look at that. Jeez. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say, uh, I'd say this is the scariest game I ever played. Oh, my character's a little cold. That's unfortunate. Don't worry, man. Why are you st Hello? Okay. So that's pretty cool. That's a good idea for a game. Uh, where you think... When you think... Just when you think you know where to go. Um, yep. Just when you think you know where to go and you know what you're doing. The game throws you for a loop. It really just keeps you on your toes. Like right here. Boom. I. Who would have guessed? Oh, what's that? It's in Russian. Look at that. We're in the future or something. You can. This game has such deep lore, dude. Like. You wouldn't. You wouldn't even know. You know, until you play the whole game. That's just how these things work. I, I understand if you're a little confused at the moment. Don't worry though, this game's good enough. It will... You know, it'll make it all up to you in a minute. Don't worry, calm down. Jesus. Oh man, a red exclamation point. Wonder what that means. Probably means, uh... Spook warning. Because the developers of this game were so nice that they like to give little, uh notifications, you know, here and there when you should really be scared. Like right now, see, there was the spook. And I had a warning. I knew. I was prepared. And it's cleverly disguised, see. You'd think, ah, uh, it's just like a lock in a vent. But the joke's on you. Because actually, it was an exclamation point. It was a, it's one of those optical illusions, you know, where they put the lines everywhere. Yeah, it was one of those got to really conserve your battery otherwise you risk getting spooked pretty hard look at that smooth that's how i crawl out of vents on a daily basis and float upwards uh huh um so as you can see so far this game's already uh pretty gosh darn scary i'm actually like shaking so much that uh, my socks just fell off. So give me one second, I'm gonna put those back on.
Mm -hmm. Here's the left sock. All right, socks are back on. Fear is handled. See, that's the thing. You can't let the game get into your mind. You gotta be constantly aware of what's going on. Cause uh, otherwise, the game might just get you. You know? You never, ever know what's gonna happen. Like I could walk forward. I could just die right now. A heart, heart attack. I wouldn't know. It'd be pretty spooky. But the game, you know, courteous as it is, would probably give me a spook warning. Because, you know, they're kind developers. They clearly want people to be able to enjoy their experience. Now, let me just tell you, you know, these are some real good people that made this game. Uh, one of them exists. I, uh, that's cool. I like the part where that's a dead end. See, it really tricks the player into thinking they, uh, you know, you're like, ah, I know the way to go. It seems pretty obvious. And you try and go that way, and the game's like, you better think harder next time because, uh, you're playing by my rules now, bub. You think, you think you're some kind of, you're some kind of good? You think you're good at this game? Oh, no, no, no. You're not allowed. That's what really keeps you on your toes, the real... It's a sign of quality, honestly. Vent mazes? You know how hard these are to program? But a flashlight battery? It's... Name one other game that's had a, a flashlight with a battery. I, I, you can't. They don't exist. At all. So, you know, that's a really clever... Whew, wow, this is... Enter B. What? One of these days, I, uh, I strive to, uh... Mm-hmm. Achieve this level of program. And, you know... I'm really glad that the developers were so kind as to put this game on Steam. You know? It's... It brings a tear to my eye, to be honest. See, look at that. The e look at that. It, that's genuine spook right there. Caught that on film. You don't see that kind of stuff every day, do you? What? See? Secrets, too. Ah. You're, you're supposed to be thinking to yourself, I can't get through that doorway. It's too thin, but if you try... <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at that. That was... Ugh. Let me check my heart rate really quick. Sorry. Alright. I think I'm still good. I think it's still beating. <sighs> you know, if there's one thing this game has mastered. It's actually everything. Is that zero? Yeah, that was zero. See, look at that. Clever clever find about thinking I wouldn't have known to do that if the game hadn't told me so uh, I best be thankful that it did otherwise I might be here forever you know just playing this magnificent game that people really worked hard on like they worked so hard on this game and uh, it really shows you know from the texture quality like the texture quality is just mm, so good that it actually causes my computer to lag sometimes it's just it's crazy how far we've come in society enter B still not sure what that means <laughs> See, look, the, the developers are pretty considerate. They know. Oh, is that... Oh, look at you! Hello. You okay? Guess not. Just 
cool if you don't want to talk. You don't have to be rude about it. I'm be on your best spook guard. Every every dedicated despair player knows that this is the point where it starts to get real, real mean, real tough, real spooky. Oh my, did you see that dude? Oh my god, where did she go? I thought it was pretty established that I... Am I gonna walk through that pipe? Oh wow. I forget, this is a good horror game. Sorry. You know, honestly, the fact that uh, something like <sighs> Resident Evil 7... Look at that. I'm terrified out my gym jams right now, dude. Oh my gosh. She's coming for me. E. Look at that. Quick time events. Dude, that's how you make a game. Completely necessary. Makes total sense for the game. Why I am... Answer the only question. You're here for the first time? How do I get this off my screen? You think your puny mortal being can stop me? The fact that I ran from like a pale little girl with like some sort of red knife is pretty, pretty spooky. Those quick time events where I had eight, maybe nine years to do them, even spookier. Honestly, the spookiest part of this game is the whole game. I'm telling you. You think Resident Evil 7 scary? You go, ah, oh, atmos- Who needs atmosphere? Who needs legitimate scares? Who needs build-up? Who needs story? I have despair, and honestly, I- uh, Pretty ha- I'm, I'm- I think that- I think maybe I'm the true winner of this. Look. The door is locked, dude. Who do you think I am? Some kind of- Nerd? Look at this. <laughs> Got it. First try. I can see. Got to put my glasses on. Hang on. Got to give my eyes a few seconds to readjust. Come on. There it goes. It happens. You know, the future glasses. You know, that I can push the darkness back. I am the chosen one. Yeah, with some glasses, you know. This isn't the way to go. It's actually, uh, this way. Surprise. I fooled you. Look at that. Right on time. You know, I... I knew I wouldn't miss my train. That'd just be ridiculous. <gasps> what was that? I legitimately don't know. Oh well. Look at, that, look at that spooky part of the door you can see through. That's safety design. Oh no. Oh, did you hear that? That was a spook noise. Oh my gosh. There's a sequel. Guys, you think Resident Evil 7? Come on. Come Amnesia? <laughs> Amnesia? Come on, you think that's a scary game? I don't think you've ever played Despair. So, as you can- I- That was my speed run. Or run. And, uh... Honestly, if you don't go out and immediately buy this game, you're probably a huge nerd. So, uh... You know. Just keep that in mind. Next time you try and, uh tell me what a horror game is, you know? It'd be de Dead Space? What's what's that? Despair? Mm-hmm. You know, who even needs literally anything else? I only need Despair. It's the only game I've ever played in my life. Ever. It's, it's a horror game that someone made. It's on Steam. 
has trading cards. I got I got one while playing this. That was pretty cool. Whole game, spooky trading card. Just make it added the spookiness. I honestly it made like guys I have to I might have to consult like a therapist now. I'm pretty spooky. Like, just make sure no no spooky ghosts have entered my house or any spooky ghosts. Are 